Hey, YouTube, Rico knows you're going to continue my series where I point out one hidden gem on every single team in America. You guys know the deal. One hidden gem per team for the 2024 college football season. If you want to see all the other hidden gems, go to the homepage, Rico Knows, on, on YouTube. Click on the playlist and then find the Rico Knows Hidden Gems playlist and you'll see all the other hidden gems. But for this particular video, I'm going to be talking about Arkansas. And when I look at Arkansas, I've got their depth chart up right here. Who do I want to talk about? In the wide receiver room, I don't see a single hidden gem. I talked about Tesla last year. I talked about a bunch of these players last year, if, if you will. Um, running back room, I don't really see hidden gems. I know who they are. They're not hidden to me or anybody else for that matter. Quarterback, one hidden gem there is Malachi Singleton. Love everything about him. Part of me wanted to talk about Luke Haas for a second here, uh, but he's too good. He's too good to be a hidden gem. He's a known commodity. He played great last year. Kept Varkey's gums on the bench, which is a phenomenal thing to do. I think Arkansas has two of the best tight ends in the entire conference. I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating. These are great tight ends, by the way. Then I go to the defense. And one thing that needs to be pointed out is they got a ton of transfer help. And I love some of the transfer help they got. Anton, uh, I can't say his last name, Junkage. Anton Junkage led the FCS in sacks last year while playing at Albany. Yeah, FCS All-American shows up. This is the man who had 15 sacks last year. I'm looking forward to him doing great things. I hope it works out. And I'd imagine a lot of fans don't know who he is. And that's fine. Shout out to him. Larry Worth. Larry Worth, he wore number 30 at Jacksonville State last year. I just saw his name there. I didn't even know he was there. Check it out. He was uh, fourth or fifth on the team in tackles last year. Not bad. But when I watch tape, I see Chris Hardy. That's what I see. I see Chris Hardy and 91 over and over and over. And I don't really watch 30 if I'm watching tape at Jacksonville State. That's what stuck out. Stephen Dix. Stephen Dix Jr. coming from Marshall. It's a former Florida State linebacker. Complete stud. Dealt with a lot of injuries. Finally started last year and played really well. Good to see him back at you know, the power four level. So that's pretty interesting that they went out and got a bunch of depth, but they're all backups because Xavier Sori is a five-star kid and he's going to be the starter. Got it. But I'm here to talk about another guy, Brad Spence. <sighs> when I turn on the tape, Brad Spence is him. That's a grown man. That's an NFL linebacker. And people need to know about it before he becomes too popular. So let's talk about the transfer portal for a second. They lost three really good linebackers in the transfer portal, two of which are absolute superstars. You see Chris Paul Jr. here. They have elevated him to four stars. He's going to Ole Miss. He will be missed. He's great. The other linebacker that took off was Jaheim Thomas. He's going to link back up with his old coaches, going to Wisconsin. If you didn't know, he used to play at Cincinnati with Luke Fickle and the boys and um, Mike, the defensive coordinator, right, Trestle. So now they're, they're down there at Wisconsin. They need a linebacker. You go and get a guy who was one of the team's leading tacklers, 6'4", uh, 240, former four-star. I love Jaheim Thomas. So when you lose Jaheim Thomas, right, and you go and lose Chris Paul Jr. to Ole Miss, and you lose Crook over, now Crook was a backup to all backups, he got passed on the depth chart, but you lose Crook to Arizona State. It, it leaves you wondering, how are we going to backfill this? Who do we have? So they hit the transfer portal, signed a bunch of guys, but you lost two of your leaders on defense. And I'm just telling you guys, Brad Spence is ready to lead a team in the SEC. That is a hidden gem if you ever saw one. True sophomore Brad Spence, go turn on the tape. Look, man, recruiting websites, he's 6'2", 237. Number one, he's got the right size. Shout out to your girl. She says the same thing about me. But he's coming out of Klein Forest here in Houston. They tell me he's three stars. Tell me he's three stars. Chose Arkansas over Arizona State, Cal, Colorado, Duke, Indiana. I think he went on a trip to Cal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Trip to Cal. I don't care about none of that. Duke can play ball. Go turn on the huddle tape. I'm going to tell you guys there's a play here. There's a play. I know it's coming up soon. Let me let me let me scroll roll this up a little bit. Let, let me hit play on this. Where is he at on the tape? He's Russian right here. He's number four. I say he's rushing, not Russian like that other country. Watch him take on this pulling guard right here. He's on the edge. Look what he does to this pulling guard. He's not playing scrubs, bro. He's playing in Texas. Here comes a pulling guard supposed to kick him out. Boom! Flattens that guy on his ass. Where is 62 right now? 62 is embarrassed. Dude, your parents are in the stands. Boom! That's what you got to see, man. That's an SEC linebacker. Taking on the kick out, not even overexerting himself and just putting a dude in the dirt. He just finds the ball. He's a playmaker and an athlete. It's incredible. 
That that tick that kick out alone. Pancaking the kick out is real. Here he's on the edge again. This time, just getting rid of the blockers. It looks like a drill at a camp when you get paired up with one of those tackles who can't handle the speed of the edge rusher. Here he is. Boom! Stop trying to block me with running backs. We already saw what he did to guards. Look what he does to this running back. You, this fullback, H back. No, bro. You skipped leg day. I didn't. I'm a grown man. Brad Spence. Brad, look at the speed on this. Do you guys see that? One guy is Batman out here. One guy is playing at a speed others can't handle. Oh, my goodness. Brad Spence. You drew it up on paper and you said, hey, you got him. And you pointed at one guy. You thought one guy was going to stop all this. Not happening. You need two or three guys. Brad Spence has been him the whole time. Oh, you don't want to kick me out anymore, bro. Let me tell you that. Same team. And to out to still get there. You take the inside and you still get there. You take the right angle. Here he is. Now he's playing actual traditional linebacker. He's got the right angle. Good pursuit. You want to get your head across the shoulders. It's important. It looks like drills out here. It looks like he's drilling and he's and I'm not just talking about the tackle. I'm talking about it looks like warm-up drills to me. He looks like the only football player on the field, and I know there's other players. My goodness. Spin, pursuit, angle, get there. Everybody on the field can make go make the tackle. They don't. Everybody has the right to make the tackle. They don't do it. Only one guy's doing it. It's incredible. So when you take that ability to find the ball, shout out to Brad Spence, and you put him in the SEC, look at the spin move, bro. He feels the weight. He feels it. He's got great balance when he spins as well. This shit says beast mode. Beast mode. I don't know what's going on. No backside cutoff. Something was happening there. Beast mode. It's incredible. Shout out to Brad Spence. I look for him. I look forward to him being a leader on this defense. Finally getting his chance to be the real starter, the bona fide starter on this team. Uh, yes, they're going to miss Jaheim Thomas. Yes, they're going to miss good players who transferred out. Shout out to Chris Paul. But we got a guy that I believe is a future star in the SEC. Brad Spence. I'm pointing out one hidden gem on every single team in America. I hope you watch the whole playlist. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Peace, y'all.